If you're like me, you love shrimp, but you hate paying the price. I'm gonna show you what you can do. Stay tuned. So one of my favorite seafoods to cook is shrimp, but as you all know, shrimp are very expensive. So when I started the meal prep company, Booty and the Chef, I was trying to figure a way to implement shrimp into the recipes because most people were asking for it, but how can you implement it and still save money and still be cost effective? Well, I found a hack. If you go to Sam's Club, that's right, Sam's Club, which is, you know, you know, it kind of took me off guard when I thought about it, but you go to Sam's Club, you'll find these shrimp right there. 21.25 raw easy peel shrimp. These are at $3.99 a pound for a three pound bag. So it's 12 bucks for three pounds. That's a great deal. These are white. So that's my favorite kind of shrimp to cook. These are like Mexican white golf shrimp. They've already been deveined, which means they already split them down the middle, took out all the intestine that you need to take out yourself. So it saves you the time. But the best part of all this is that they're so cost effective. Now you might be wondering how they taste. Well, I've been using them for the meal prep company for a while now. And so far, everyone loves it. I mean, clearly shrimp are amazing. So I wanted to see how they reheat because most people, when they reheat their shrimp, they either use a microwave or an oven or something like that, especially when you're doing meal prep. So I'm gonna show you a quick little uh, tip, I would say, or a quick little suggestion on how to cook these. So wait. All right, so what I did, I defrosted the shrimp. Now that they're defrosted, I'm just gonna peel them. As I said, they already came split and clean. So all you do, Take your thumb and you squeeze and you pull. You should be able to do it in two strides. I like to leave the tail on. So now I'm gonna do this for the rest of them. So, I mean, they make it very easy because they're already split and clean. So you, it takes a lot of the work out of it. I mean, for usual, for me, like a servings, five shrimp, you know, you can do six or eight, but so it makes it really quick. So all I did was defrost it under cold water for just a couple minutes. I would say maybe five minutes and then they're ready. So there you go. That's what you need right there. So now you're gonna set this aside and we're gonna get ready to cook them. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is heat up our pan. I got a nice saute pan on the fire, getting it up to medium heat. You can go high heat if you really wanna go quick. I'm gonna put my shrimp in. As you saw, I didn't add any oil or anything first. I want the shrimp in there right away to get that nice sear on it. I know some people start off with oil and stuff like that, but nah, you can pass that. I added a pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of ground black pepper to keep the spices very simple. I've been working with just uh, salt and pepper lately and letting the ingredient speak for itself. If it sticks, that's normal. Now it comes the, the fat. I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter. That's about less than an ounce. I'm gonna let that melt out and that's gonna coat the pan and at the same time give the shrimp that buttery taste. Shrimp by themselves are naturally buttery. So just by adding the butter to it, it's gonna give it even a nicer, buttery, more rich taste, which is gonna make your seafood even better. I use this technique a lot with salmon and other kinds of fishes. Now I'm gonna move it back and forth. Like I said, they can stick because there is no oil or anything on the pan. You could have added a little bit of you know, pan stick spray, but you don't need to. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a spoon and just move them around. That's gonna deglaze everything because in a little bit, it comes a secret. Now I'm flipping them over to get the sear on the second side. You don't cook just one side of anything, you cook both sides. I'm gonna take about one and a half ounces of white wine. White wine I like because it has that natural sweetness and it's just gonna bring it out. I'm gonna take it and let it cook it out. What that is doing is deglazing the pan. So everything you saw that we got stuck on the pan, now is gonna come off. I'm gonna let that reduce to half. So it's gonna come down to about an ounce. I'm gonna shake it back and forth and just let it go. In this process, what you're doing is you're learning the technique deglaze. You're also learning how to cook seafood properly. You can see by the where the cut is on the shrimp that's still a little bit translucent, which means it's still a little bit under. But you don't want it 100% white because that means it's overcooked. So now I'm going to finish it off with just a little bit of blackening spice. You can use blackening spice, Cajun rub, whatever you have. And that's it. You're gonna take it off the heat and let it rest a little bit. You don't want the seafood to overcook because again, like I said, it becomes chewy, it becomes really tough. No one likes that. So take your time, cook them right, let them rest now, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So there you go, that's how easy it is and how cost effective these shrimp really are. So again, they're at Sam's Club. They're a 21, 25 raw easy peel. You can check your Sam's Club app to make sure that they have them at your local Sam's Club. But for 12 bucks for three pounds, you can't go wrong. So now, as you can see, the shrimp are done. They're right in front of me. They're chilling off a little bit. 
Now you might be wondering why I leave the tail on. I think the tail still gives it a little bit more of that natural taste instead of leaving the whole shell on. Sometimes I cook shrimp in the whole shell, but just leaving the tail on, you know, it gives it a little bit of that uh, flavor that I'm going for. So now for the taste test. All you're gonna do is grab by a tail. It's really good. It's really buttery. The shrimp, you can tell, are really fresh. It's perfect. So I hope you guys like this little tip, this little, I guess, hack, if you're looking for a hack on how to get shrimp that are not that expensive. Uh, I hope you liked the episode. Until next week, leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, love you guys. Until next week. Bye. This girl is a blessing. She's got the devil's eyes and they'll cut you like a weapon. She's stuck in my mind like a bad obsession. She got bad intentions. She got a body like a ghost She likes to keep the party going. These rumors got me feeling.